cost of quality. We all know that quality means excellence in all aspects. Quality depends upon various factors and hence can be defined in a variety of ways. In this lesson, we will learn about cost of quality, life cycle model and quality function deployment. After going through this presentation, you should be able to explain costs of quality, describe the PAF and life cycle model, discuss economics of quality, understand Taguchi method using robust design, explain quality function deployment. The cost of quality is defined as the sum of the costs that would not have been required had everything been done right the first time. It is considered to be any cost that the company would not have incurred if the quality of the product or service were perfect. Quality is more than meeting a product specification because a specification only provides a minimum set of requirements. Feigenbaum proposed categorization of quality costs into prevention, appraisal and failure costs. The process model groups the costs as cost of conformity and cost of non-conformity. Cost of non-conformity is the cost incurred due to failure of the existing process. The cost of quality is generally the sum of conformance and non-conformance costs. The PAF model groups the cost under the four primary cost categories such as prevention, appraisal, internal failure and external failure. The prevention costs of poor quality have been defined to include the cost of all activities specifically designed for this purpose. Corrective action that is directed towards elimination of the problem in the future may be classified as prevention. Appraisal costs of poor quality have been defined to include all costs incurred in the planned conduct of product or service appraisals to determine compliance to requirements. Internal failure cost includes all the material and labor expenses that are lost or wasted due to non-conforming or otherwise unacceptable work affecting the quality of end products or service. External failure cost includes all costs incurred due to actual or suspected non-conforming product or service after delivery to the customer. Total quality costs are the sum of prevention costs, appraisal costs, failure costs and intangible costs. In the life cycle model, the costs are grouped under different phases of the life cycle of the product. Quality costs increases over time. Quality improvement is synonymous with a reduction in the cost of poor quality. Every amount saved on quality cost has a positive effect on profits. Quality costs are part of a firm's quality management system. They require understanding customer requirements and translating them into appropriate defect rates. Juran argued that increased conformance reduces the losses due to defective and states that the cost of controls needed for greater conformance rises geometrically as perfection is approached. Greiner's model suggests that perfection can almost be reached in an economic manner in that the costs of appraisal plus prevention are finite, not infinite. Aspects of the economics of quality include the attitudes and approaches by management to the quality problem and this section outlines some of the organizational factors which contribute to determining the optimal quality decision. The main thrust of the argument is that the accountant can help provide company-wide costs of quality in a number of different ways, including management involvement and adapting accounting systems meaningfully. Kume states that many companies treat the economic problems pertaining to quality as quality costs. Kume explains that this is not the way things happen in practice and management should not be concerned with these costs but should try to minimize the loss using quality management. The term quality engineering QE was used till recently by Japanese quality experts only. One such expert is Genichi Taguchi 1986 who reasoned that even the best available manufacturing technology was by itself no assurance that the final product would actually function in the hands of its users 
as desired. Taguchi studied the methods of design of experiments DOE, at the Indian Statistical Institute in the 1950s and later applied these methods in a very creative manner to improve product and process design. Taguchi's contributions may be classified under the following three headings. The loss function, robust design of products and production processes, and simplified industrial statistical experiments. A practice common in traditional engineering design is sensitivity analysis. Sensitivity analysis also determines the changes to be expected in the design's performance due to factor variations of uncontrollable character. If the design is found to be too sensitive, the designer projects the worst case scenario to help plan for the unexpected. Robust design should not be confused with rugged or conservative design which adds to the unit cost by using heavier insulation or high reliability, high tolerance components. Taguchi was able to show that by such experiments it is often possible to discover an alternate bar design. Here an appropriate chocolate bar formulation. That would be robust to temperature. The trick, he said, is to uncover any exploitable interaction between the effect of changing the design, X for example from the European formulation to formulation X and temperature. Figure shows such an interaction experimentally uncovered. Thus a robust chocolate bar may be created for the tropical market if the original European formulation is changed to formulation X. The breakthrough in product design that Taguchi achieved renders performance robust even if the presence of noise without actually controlling the noise factors themselves. Taguchi's special design noise array experiments figure 6.5 discover those optimum settings. The procedure first builds a special assortment of prototype designs and then tests these prototypes for their robustness in noisy conditions. Each prototype is shaken by deliberately subjecting it to different levels of noise. Thus performance is studied systematically under noise in order to find eventually a design that is insensitive to the influence of noise. To guide the discovery, the optimum design factor settings, Taguchi suggested a two-step procedure. In step one, optimum settings for certain design factors are sought so as to ensure that the response becomes robust. In step 2, the optimum setting of some other design factor is sought to put the design's average response at the desired target. The performance of a product or process is affected by a multitude of factors. It is also well known that over two-thirds of all product malfunctions may be traced to the design of the product. The Taguchi Orthogonal Array Experimental Scheme would set up the following experimental plan consisting of only four specifically designed experiments. Quality function deployment QFD is a structured process to design products or services based on the customer needs. QFD was selected to perform IQ needs and metric manipulation. QFD is the mechanism to achieve primary objective of any manufacturer or bring new products to the market faster than the competition with lower costs and improved quality. QFD is a multidisciplinary tool. It requires marketing, design, production and sales to work together. QFD was developed by Professor Yoji Akron and Professor Shigeru Mizuno in 1966 to show the connections between true quality, quality characteristics and process characteristics and to reduce the growing distance between producers and users in today's industrial society. QFD enables a business to bring a new product to the market faster. The product is likely to address the requirements of the target market. QFD provides a structured approach to quality the relative importance of these values. QFD usually focuses on implementing business strategies and tactics especially lean thinking. QFD is a disciplined approach to product design, engineering and production and provides in-depth evaluation of a product. It is particularly the less tangible customer requirements such as responsiveness and individualized attention. 
QFD is really a common sense process. It is often perceived to be very complex because it deals with so much data and complex issues. Quality function development consists of four main steps. First, identify the customer's vital requirements for the product or service and translate them into design requirements. Develop a service blueprint of an elegant, effective and efficient delivery process. Evaluate alternative designs and implement the newly designed process for delivery of the product or service. QFD has helped organizations like 3M, Ford Motor Co and AT&T improve customer satisfaction, reduce product development time and reduce startup problems. Now let us check if we have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly. The total cost of quality equals to the salaries of the quality management department and the time spent by the employees on quality issues. Right or wrong? Wrong. Internal failure cost includes all the material and labor expenses that are lost or wasted due to non-conforming or otherwise unacceptable work affecting the quality of end products or service. Right or wrong? Right. QFD is a structured process to design products or services based on the customer needs. Right or wrong? Right. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied so far. Total quality costs are the sum of prevention costs, appraisal costs, failure costs and intangible costs. Quality costs help to show the importance of quality related activities to management. They identify opportunities for quality improvement and establish funding priorities by means of Pareto analysis. This analysis allows the quality improvement program to concentrate on the vital few quality problem areas. In the life cycle model, the costs are grouped under different phases of the life cycle of the product. Quality costs increase over time. Good leaders are able to use their power and communication skills to good use. They convert their power into influence. Quality improvement is synonymous with a reduction in the cost of poor quality. Every amount saved on quality cost has a positive effect on profits.